This is how it will look. Make a prop dynamic override and give it a valve model. Place the prop anywhere you want. Give it a name. I named it valve 1. If you want to make the pipe like me, make it prop static. Take the block tool. And make a small block around the bar of the valve. Make it out of player clip, or any other invisible texture. Make the block funk rotating. And give it a name. I will name it Valve Rotator 1. Give it a move sound if you want. I will use this one. Go to flags, and make it rotate around the X axis. I will also make it not solid, and I will change the sound radius to medium. Now that is done, go to the prop dynamic. And set the parent as the rotator. Take the block tool once again, and make a block around the whole valve. I will use no draw texture for this. Select the no draw cube. And make it funk button. Go to flags, and tick don't move. You also need to have tick use activates. And non solid. It should look like this. Now, the output. Double click the no draw cube, and click on output. Click on add, and set the output to unpressed. The name of your rotator. And start. I am going to set it to fire once only, but you can keep it normal. Add another output, make it unpressed, the name of your rotator. And stop. Give it a delay about 3 seconds, that means it is going to rotate for 3 seconds. Let's say I want to unlock these door using the valve. First, name the door, I will name it door 1. Go to flags and tick start locked. Now, the button. Double click the funk button, and go to output. Click at. On pressed. Door 1. And unlock. I am going to set the delay to unlock after the valve has spinned.
click apply, and you are done. If you want to see more tutorials like this, like and subscribe.